Hello and welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to come back and look at this game again because I had a look at it before and I wasn't really impressed. Actually, I was initially really liked the game. They changed all the controls and made it really hard to play. I haven't played since almost launch, but I just wanted to talk about it today because I feel like they've made some pretty big improvements. So let's quickly set ourselves up here to get a mine going. Took it a 400k loan, which is I guess the standard-ish. Let's see. And I'll see if we can get a mine going. What do we need? This. It's pretty easy anyways. Uh, pretty gener er, generic. What the heck did I need to do? This. This, I think. Um, but the one thing I did realize I might not have realized before is everything does have a direction on it. As you can see where the arrow is pointing. You can also snap it into the grid. Which I found a little easier to make the buildings work. Function. I don't know if I'm the right distance, but um, I'll have to go up. Oops. And their deconstruction system, there's no penalties for moving stuff. I really like that too, by the way. And down. And just like that, we're pretty much set up. Obviously, I could be a bit closer. Or we can do one of these other buildings. Uh, if I can figure out which one it is here. Oh, here we go. I might have over bent we'll see we'll see there we go and that'll actually store it here for you can view what you have put in there I don't like to do that I just dump it but some people are gonna wanna actually see what they're putting in there let's see if we got enough for the vehicle still we do and just like that you can be mining and there we go. And I just heard, I seen a video yesterday, I believe, uh, Queen was showing me that they actually are going to be doing a multiplayer on this game. And I can't wait to see it. The controls are so much better. Let's see if I can figure out the buttons here. And I'm not blaming the game for that. That's my mistake. Uh, I'm a little rusty on this game, obviously. So I'm a little off on the buttons, on which buttons are which. You can do something like that while you dig. Oh, look at that. Loading right up. Or if you're bad like me, you can do a little different of a view, like a side view. For whatever reason, this seems to help me. Easily load up. And head out and dump. And again, I was really unimpressed with this game originally. Um, the dirt was having a lot of issues, the ground was having a lot of issues, and there is a bit of flashing and this and that, but you got to kind of consider how the game is, and how much actual dirt there is, and how it can be conformed, and when you get all that, I honestly think it's a decent game now, and it seems to be a lot more fun, when before it was a chore to do this type of stuff, it seems to be fun to do it now, I actually uh, have a different game going where I got a giant mine dug already. And to play this multiplayer, I can't wait for somebody like AAA, who I used to do videos with, to come in and do some videos like this. And Queenfish even talked about doing a multiplayer video, if they come out with the multiplayer of this. I do know that multiplayers tend to be a little harder to do, and we don't want something like the long drive, where you can't really play multiplayer because this, the connection's so bad. And don't get me wrong, I do love that game too, but I just wish that their multiplayer was a little bit more functional. Because you can't be loading up a bucket that's glitching 20 feet away. That would be disastrous. And they do have it out in alpha now that you can do with the alpha multiplayer version. I haven't played around with that. I read a little bit about it. Sounded like they are having issues with it, but I haven't tried it myself. But I just thought I'd point this out. If you're looking for something to spend a few hours to distract yourself, maybe you tend to overthink things, maybe whatever, this might be the game for you. You just dump it in there, and I got it going in that storage right now, as you guys know, so let's go see what we got. As long as I didn't mess this up, you can usually tell because these all have a direction on them, and you can see the direction seems to be right. I think I got that right. We'll double check here, and there we go. I've got 70 coal and a bunch of dirt, and again, it's that easy to do. It's that easy to play. Um... And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the value is. I think I paid about 20 bucks for it. I don't know if it was on sale or not, but 
I just know how cheap I am, and then I'm not going to pay much more than 20 bucks for a game, no matter what it is. So, that's me. You do you, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you throw a thumbs up at the video. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed, because I'm awesome. And check out my other videos. I make my own games, but I also play other people's games, as long as they're good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wow! <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.